Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Pumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Salt and Sanctuary. It's by Ska Studios, released May 17th, 2016. If you guys act quickly and you snag it, grab it, buy it, purchase it, you get the idea. Before May 24th, you can get it for 10% off. Now, I actually heard of Salt and Sanctuary in this game and got a hold of uh, the people and everything else through the team that brought us a Duskers. You guys have seen the first look. You've seen that I've started actual coverage of the game as far as a full Let's Play. So the folks at Misfits Attic actually said that these guys were buddies of theirs and they released their game as well. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. So I decided I'd check it out and I played around with it for about a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And I gotta say the game is fantastic. I tried it with both the keyboard mouse and the controller. Both work fantastically well, so if you are like, oh, this game's not gonna be that great because I don't have a controller, it still works really well with the keyboard and mouse. I am gonna go with the controller right now. I think I prefer it a little bit, but it does work well with the keyboard and mouse, and I could pretty much interchange back and forth if I wanted to. Anyway, that being said, let's begin, shall we? New game. Uh, what was your name? It's Bumpy McSquiggums, correct. Alright, now we get to actually kind of choose what our character looks like. So, as you guys can see there, we are Bumpy McSquiggums. We are male. Let's see what the female looks like. A little bit larger eyes, but she has a beard. It's a little bit weird, I know. But we could remove the beard if it was a female. Uh, for the hairstyle, I kind of look through all of these, and I'll just kind of go through them as I babble to you guys. But I think I found that my favorite one is near the bottom here. But as you can see, I don't mind the top knot either. I think that's kind of cool. That one's okay. Eh. Uh, the Mohawk's pretty cool too. That would be my probably second favorite choice. I think with the top knot being my third. I definitely don't want the buns. I don't want that thing. I don't want the shag. No. No. Eh. Probably still no. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, eh, that would be like my fifth, maybe. No. No. This is the one I like. I might go with the mohawk, though. I usually do. You know what? I'm going to go with this. I'm not going to go with the mohawk like I normally do. We're going to go with green hair, because why not? And we're going to go with a beard, and I kind of like that one, but we're going to go with uh, the chops. Ah, the Fu Manchu! Ah, uh, we're going to go with uh, this. With the beard, and we're not going to go auburn. We're going to probably go green, but we could go purple. That would be a weird contrasting thing. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Purple beard, green hair, why not? Who says we have to obey the laws of nature? We could have sky blue eyes, we could have green eyes, we're gonna go with the green eyes, it's fine. Alright, so we can change our skin color by going to different places. This is like a zombie green look with like cat eyes, it's very disturbing. This is like pale undead looking stuff, this is uh, you know, there's some differences here. Uh, this is like full on zombie, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we'll just go with a... Uh, Let's, we can go with a Scaria. Uh, we can go with this one. We'll go with this one. All right. Now the the differences you get to start is uh, there's a bunch of different classes here. You have knight, mage, paladin, thief, cler uh, chef, cleric, popper, and hunter. And it basically it defines your starting equipment. As you guys can see to the right, it looks like we have decent armor. We have a, a sword and a, a kite shield there. The mage has looks like a sword and a dagger. And some robe looking stuff. The paladin's decked out in what looks like plate mail armor. He's got a weird hat thing going on. He's got a mace and he's got some sort of jug. The thief has got a bomb. It looks like a throwing dagger. Or a, a, that's a knife. Okay, a knife or a dagger and a shield along with like leather equipment. We have a chef. The chef, I played around with the chef a little bit. He's really weak. His uh, starting like frying pans or giant ladles or whatever you want to call those things. Ah, they don't really do a lot. Plus, those are potatoes that he can throw. The cleric looks like he's all decked out in robes. He's got a dagger or mace and a wooden shield. And possibly a spell. I'm not sure what that other thing is. And then we have the pauper. This is the other one I tried out. Basically, you're a poor guy or a farmer or something. Somebody who's not very wealthy. You decided to go out on an adventure. You have like a woodcutter's axe and a pitchfork as your weapons, along with a little shield and like a fire jug. And then you have like the Indiana Jones guy here. He's got a crossbow, he's got a knife, he's got a rope, and he's got all the cool hats. I'm tempted to go with the popper again because I thought it was pretty cool to be this, you know, this poor guy up and coming and everything else. I think I'm going to probably do that again. But I'm also tempted to try like the cleric and maybe one of the magical types as well. 
The knight seems pretty cool too. It's straightforward, you know, melee, whatnot. And I assume you could probably go. What I really want to do is get a big two handed weapon. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to go with a popper. It's got. I'm going to bring the mouse in here for a second. What is. Hold on here. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to check out the hunter real quick. What are, what are these things? I'm assuming you actually start with skills with these guys. That must be what those things are. And where it looks like the popper doesn't actually start with anything. So, hmm. Like, everybody but the chef has something that they have going their way. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. We're going to start. It might be a, a little bit of a more challenging start. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Additionally, we can start with some bonus stuff. We can get a, a stone cell sword, an amber idol, a crystal sphere, a grasping ring, a red shards, and these are all little bonuses to help us start off. Or we could go with challenges and hardcore mode where you die, you die, magic only, iron pot, ore only, naked, no blocking, no healing. I may one day go through, and I might even stream this game, guys and gals. I, I don't really have a set stream schedule, but... This might be a game where I'll go a hardcore mode and we'll just stream it and see how far I can get and then we'll stop once we're done. So that's a possibility too, but I do plan to do a full LP either way. So we're going to start with the popper with no challenges and no special effects. And let's venture forth and begin. This world has known war for centuries. But peace is finally preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Well, there you have it. That is the story so far. All right. So you can use your uh, D-pad. I'm using a uh, PlayStation 3 controller emulating an Xbox 360 controller. So basically Xbox 360 controller. Uh, you can use the D-pad to switch between your items that you have. You can jump with the A button. You can attack with the X. You can uh, do a strong attack with the Y. And then B is basically your pick up and interact item, interact with button or pick up item button. Uh, the left bumper allows you to swap between your two weapons. You can go with your pitchfork here with this particular guy or your axe and shield. And I believe the right trigger is roll. The left trigger is to block. And I don't, oh, and right bumper is actually to use the item that you have selected, which I don't want to do right now. So, that being said, let's begin going through and clearing out. Ah, you there, stranger. We've been boarded in the night. They want to kidnap our lady, ransom her, protect her, save us. And he's dead. Alright, so here's our first individual that we must do battle with. He's going to roll past us or through us and attack, and that's fine. All right, we have dropped on him, uh, slaughtered him right there. There are combos you can do with your weapons. If you do left click and then right click, or sorry, left click and right that's the mouse controls, guys. If you do uh, X and then you do Y, you will actually do an upward attack like that, and you'll knock him up in the air, and then you can actually combo from that, as you see here. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you just hold down the strong attack button, the Y button, you can wait and time your attack and do a significant damage. If you notice in the top left corner, there is indeed a, well, a stamina bar. Once you run out of stamina, your attacks either do nothing or you can't attack. When you roll through, you use stamina as well. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff, guys and gals. It should be somewhat familiar to you. You should be able to probably excel at this fairly easily. Oh, you're going to come down here to, oh gosh, come down here to fight me. All right. Yeah. Oh, he managed to block it. Oh. All right, well, we defeated him, but I did get owned a little bit there, which was not ideal, but that's okay. We'll climb back up, and you know what? We're going to swap over to our pitchfork. Our pitchfork is interesting. You definitely have the range, and your strong attack does quite a bit of work. So it is pretty cool. All right, and we're going to knock him up in the air and slam down, defeating him left, right, and center, and taking him out as well. Pitchfork seems to be pretty strong. I think with this guy, I'm probably going to go with a big two-handed weapon. Uh, it's kind of one of the things I like to do in most games anyway. I just like to have a giant, I don't know, like a sword or axe or something, and just slaughter people. However, I wouldn't be opposed to having a polearm. That might be fun too. So 
I'm leaving my options open for now. I want to point out... We can't do it here. There is a pretty expansive skill tree. Like, it's surprisingly large. How big the skill tree is. The unspeakable deep. We must do battle with this demon. We shall defeat him. We shall not defeat him. He shall land on us and slaughter us. Ooh, it vibrates. My old uh, PS3 failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I awoke to the sounds of waves washing on rock and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. My uh, old PS3 controller that I was using did not actually vibrate, so it's kind of cool to have that again. I haven't had that in forever. It's just a small thing, guys, that I'm noticing. It's fine. All right. So we are here. I'm going to swap back to the sword and board or the axe and board in this particular case. The Shivering Shore. Well, hello there. You're a flesh. You're just a fleshy bit of flotsam washed ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter. You'll want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? Well, there's an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? I do not. No, no, I don't. You don't keep the new gods? Rare. It is. So, are you a pilgrim of Devara? Your sort has been dying out for centuries, I'm afraid. Nope. No? Do you hold no gods at all? You're either brave, foolish, or from the north. Well, you don't look particularly brave, but you don't seem particularly foolish either. Are you a mountain smith? I am, I guess. I have no idea, guys. I'm just randomly picking stuff here. Men from the mountains of the northern continent of Markdor are iron ones. They believe in no gods, believing instead in the will, the iron will of man. They love steel, but hate magic. Are you a member of the iron ones? Uh, nah, I'm not really. Nope. Alright, so we're not going to go with that. Let's just go with the goddess of light. Followers of the... Sorry. Followers of the goddess of light de worship Devara, deity of humility, kindness, and forgiveness. Her creed is perhaps the oldest known creed, though this could be a consequence of its cleric's meticulous record-keeping. Are you a pilgrim of Devara's light, then? I am. A follower of the goddess of light, your journey will be difficult. Accept this earthen vessel. It will bring Devara's blessings to the vacant sanctuary ahead. Thank you, old guy. I appreciate that. Uh, if you hold down left trigger, shield, it basically explains the, the controls, guys. I don't need to do that. I already explained it all to you. You guys know what's going on. Ugh. Feel the burn. Alright, so we murdered some of those guys. We're going to open up this chest here. It is going to hold a sanctuary key. I'm skipping all the bottles again. I have explained how the combat works, so we don't need to do it again. Let me in. It sure is dark in here. I don't know what to do. Select the icon. The earthen vessel is here. Let us claim the sanctuary. Alright, so if you look in the bottom left corner, 331 gold is what we have. 160 salt. It's not enough to really do a lot, so we're going to skip doing anything right now. If I switch to the Water of Blessing, it basically, I don't know if it fully heals me, it heals me up a lot. And I think it does it, like, incremental, so it's useful. And whenever we come back to a Sanctuary, we're able to replenish that. Now, while this isn't 100% a blind playthrough, I haven't gone through very far. So, after maybe an episode or two, I'm actually going to be completely out of what I know is going on, because... I wanted to check out the game to see what I was getting into, and I absolutely fell in love with the game. I think it's fantastic, it's awesome, it's done really, really well, and I'm super stoked to actually showcase it. Alright, we got some red shards, which are like small healing potions, and we got ourselves a pouch of salt. What we need to do is we select it up at the top. See how it's moving there? Pouch of salt. And we're going to use it. We stomp on it, and we got ourselves another 100 salt there we can actually utilize at any point. We're going to head off to the right. And... We are going to do battle. And apparently that guy up top is shooting at us. 
Thankfully, we are so skilled at combat that we defeated him without any uh, challenge whatsoever. All right, we're going to drop down here. Oh, okay. A random zombie decided to show up. Sup, random zombie? Defeated. All right, so we crushed that zombie. Well, we sliced and diced and slashed and, and hacked and killed. We killed that zombie. He had nothing really to do. We're going to walk slowly into our destiny. All right, we're about to go into this place. It's some sort of castle. There's guards hanging and thieves and who knows what else. And this whole place is going to be filled with a bunch of undead. There just seems to be a... Oh, one rising right in front of me, apparently. There seems to be a slightly more powerful one right up there. He's got an axe, whereas the others don't seem to have a weapon at all. So that's a thing. And it looks like more zombies have a spawn. And, okay, I guess I will have to try and annihilate them. You will fall before the might of me. Okay, a little crushing, slicing, slashing, dashing, bashing. Oh, another zombie just showed up. No, you do not get to hit me more than once. You shouldn't have even hit me once, but... I sort of let my guard down, if you want to call it that. Oh, hello. Double zombie action. All right, guys and gals, enough of that. Let's pitchfork them down. Let's show them our popper slash farmer ways of life and show them that we are no joke. We may be poor, we may work the land, but we are deadly, deadly warriors. And we are. I really like the uh, the range and the just the way the, the weapon works. I think it works quite well. There's different com there's different combos you can do. I have a hard time figuring that out sometimes. So two light attacks and then a heavy attack lets you do that. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's see what's to the right here. All right, some treasure to be had. Another pouch of salt, which I have two of now. We're going to utilize that, stomp on it, get some salt, stomp on it again, get some more salt. And it looks like that mechanism over there will open this, and eventually we'll be able to backtrack this way if need be. Alright, was there anything I left down here to deal with? Nope. Okay, so we killed everything down there. Now we get to move up here and do a little bit of that. And now we're going to face off with this guy. He's got a helmet and an axe. I don't know how strong he's going to be, but I imagine he's going to be fairly strong. I'm going to roll away from him, get a little bit of distance, and stab him through the steps there because I'm awesome like that. And what did he have? He had some more red shards. I suppose we could probably use a red shard to heal up the little bit that we're missing. It's pretty sweet. We're going to go over here and smash through that because nobody needs to know how to read. Reading is definitely a waste of time. Apparently we can't get over there just yet. Oh, and we just got knocked on our butt. Well, essentially we fell off a giant, giant tall thing. So that wasn't great. We got hurt a little bit doing that. Again, not the end of the world. I'm going to chug along some of the potions, and now we're going to go one, two, and the Tricor of Awesome. Removing heads and killing people and doing all sorts of stuff. There's something to be had up here. I'm going to go and take it. Some throwing daggers. That sounds cool. And it looks like there is a thing over here to deal with. Alright. Oh, gosh. Oh, he jumped up and pulled me down, and now he's gnawing on me like I'm a kitty. All right, well, we crushed him anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But still, that was interesting. We have a bell of return, which I can only assume will return us to our sanctuary. Not quite ready to do that just yet, though. All right. There's something over this way. Okay. A stone merchant and a bundle of salt. I, I don't see the bundle of salt. I don't know if... Um, if it was used or what happened there exactly, but, well, I don't see it, so it doesn't exist in my mind. I'm hoping that we looted the salt. Not like we, it's not like we just didn't have room in our inventory and therefore it went by the way, uh-oh. It went by the wayside or anything like that. Okay, well, I killed a bat. There's some sort of thing up in the middle of the top of the screen now that's ticking down. I have no idea what that is. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, there's something over here to be had. Let's take it. Man. Oh, there's something down here, too. 
A stone cleric. Hmm. Oh. I thought there was something fancy there. I was looking, I'm like, maybe I have to do like a fall down and grab or something, but no, that's not the case. Alright, well, I guess we can go up this way now. And we can come up here. Let's see what's to the right. Oh, good. Another one of these things. Alright. One, two... Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh gosh, I knocked him down and then he got back up. Hmm. Okay, despite me doing what I did, he still hit me. So, that was pretty brutal. We're going to now use our Water of Blessing to heal back up because we kind of got wrecked pretty badly there. Alright, going to come up here. Oh, the zombies are appearing behind me now. Die, zombies. Alright, so we killed off a couple of zombies there. We're going to head up this way. And attack, and... I don't know if we actually killed... Oh, we did. I don't know if we actually killed him. But it looks like we were indeed victorious, and we decapitated him with our spinny move of doom. It is pretty sweet, I must admit. I do like that move a lot, actually. Oh, more zombies are resurrecting over here, so we will come up. One, two, and three. One, and... Oh, I thought for sure that would have been enough. Okay, well, we got through it either way. We got a rotten walker's ear. That doesn't sound delicious at all. Oh, we just got an entire set of rogue armor, apparently. Off of that body right there. So, I'll hit the start button now, and we're going to come over here and see. Okay, so it increases our... Okay. So right now, our strike defense is 49, and it looks like it increased everything, except for balance, whatever balance is. But we can apparently only wear a certain amount of equipment, and that puts us up to 16 point... Okay. So it's a weight requirement. Alright, that's cool. That's good to know. This will lower our holy and arcane defense, our light defense, I guess, and our slash defense a little bit. And really what it does add is not very impressive. Yeah, whatever, I'll do it anyway. I think we should look the part more than care about everything else. Our slash defense is going down the toilet, though. We now can be slashed like crazy. That is not ideal. We don't have any new weapons or shields or anything. But we look a lot cooler, and that's kind of important. Okay, defeated the bats. Sweet. Uh, I don't know if I need to be going up this way, but we're going to do it. Ooh, we got a Granado or a Grenado. Oh, sweet. One combo. Ooh, another one spawned. Anything else? No, that's it. What is this thing? Yeah. We got a bandaged ring. What does that do for me? I don't know. I'm excited, though. It sounds good. A ring of powerful healing. Its wearer may suffer injury, but lasting wounds will be made less severe. Reduces the wounding effect. Okay, cool. I guess that's why my health bar, if you look at the top, it's actually getting smaller. Slowly. There was also a vial here, wasn't there? I thought there was more than just... Hmm. Is there a way to get up there? Because it looks like there's something up there. Hmm. I'm curious. Well, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way up there for me right now this way. I'm sure there's probably a way up there, and I apologize if it's, like, painfully obvious and I just don't see it. So, please accept my apology on that front, but, yeah, I really don't know. Alright, well, we have a whole bunch of salt. We should be able to level up quite a few times through all this stuff. I'm always worried when I go into a new room. I'm like, what's going to happen now? Oh, and a zombie just appeared randomly. And suddenly, zombie! Okay, what is this? Uh, oh! Okay. What did that do? 
Oh, it fully healed me. Sweet. And I think it gave me back my water or blessing. Yeah, I have three of them again. Nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna head up here. I don't know if this is the way to go or what. Scary monster awaits. Huh. Well. That does sound bad. Uh oh, the Sodden Knight. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Uh, we'll be able to defeat, I guess, a boss. And, uh, maybe. Maybe we'll be able to defeat a boss. And then we will be able to, uh, break off the episode immediately after. One, two, three. He doesn't feel like a knight to me. I mean, he keeps hitting me with spell. Oh, gosh! With spells. Oh, that was scary. Ow, that didn't feel good. Okay, well, let's chug a lug one of these. Wee hee hee! That did not feel good at all. Alright, we're gonna drink one of our water spell thingies here. Oh, he seems angry. Okay, he doesn't seem angry, he is angry. Oh man, he just like uppercutted me in the mouth. That was unpleasant. Alright, let's see if I can't do this a little bit better. Oh, I tried to jump over and roll under. Oh, dang it. I'm over here. Ow. Ow. Okay, this is not going well at all, folks. Alright. We're going to drink some of this. Stab him once. Jump over, roll through. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Alright, buddy. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, good, I killed him with a fire pot. Okay, I was getting nervous. I'm like, alright, we're gonna have to start using ranged skills because I'm getting beat down doing the whole melee thing. Alright, so that was a bit brutal. That was a bit rough, but we got through it. We got through it. We should probably get over here and gather up whatever he dropped. Alright, we got the Sodden Knight's Ashes. We got ourselves a fortress key or something, or a sanctuary key. I don't know. We got some sort of key. And that's pretty sweet or cool or interesting in some way, I'm sure. Huh. Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to get to other places. What's this? Got a stone blacksmith out of whatever that was. Okay, well, I think it would probably be wise for me to visit my little uh, shrine here, or my continue or save point, or whatever it is. I think that's probably a fairly good idea. Alright, we're going to waddle on down this way. I don't know where this takes me. Let's go take a look. Oh. Hey, everything respawned. I got a journey bottle. I wonder what that is. Stuff is respawned. What is a journey bottle? Why don't I see it here? Are we only able to carry this many stuff? So what happens to all the other stuff that we pick up? Well, that's interesting. Or terrible. I don't know which. Um, well, I'm just going to chug these things and get them out of the way. I wonder what a journey bottle would have done for me. Alright, well, we're going to continue on down here. And it looks like there's something to be had. And it looks like we can open that and then we can head back to the sanctuary. We just got mend. I don't know what that does. And class one prayer, restore HP, some HP and reduce some wounding. Broken bones, hewn flesh, and torn arteries are things that no poultice or herb mixture can remedy. But divine mending can make what is broken whole again. Well, with this being the way it is right now, I think we're going to head back. This, if I'm not wrong, this out should... Okay, I'm not even sure exactly what I did there, but it was pretty awesome. I think we can all agree to that. Oh, I know the coins are going to disappear if I don't get up. Uh, I got some of them.
Man, I really go to town when I do that move. Ah, I just stab right through and just keep going. Alright, we're gonna head back to our... Uh, come on, guys. We're gonna head back to the actual sanctuary. We'll do the upgrades, and that's why I'll break off this first episode. But don't you worry, folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There will be plenty more of Salt and Sanctuary to come. This is a fantastic game. If you guys have never heard of it before, I am super glad that I was actually able to showcase it and let you guys know about it. Because it's awesome. Like, literally awesome. Alright, so let's go here. We can level up. We can do the Tree of Skill, which we'll do eventually. And we can make Offering. What does this do? Stone Merchant, Stone Cleric, and Stone Blacksmith. A uh, small stone figure in the form of a wealthy market merchant. Offer the stone merchant to an altar to allow merchants to do business in the sanctuary. Grants gold drop bonus to sanctuary region. Um, of a wise cleric. Uh, allow an altar to summon a cleric to the sanctuary. Grants prayer potent potency bonus to sanctuary region. Okay. And a stone blacksmith. Bearded blacksmith. Uh, allows... Blacksmith to practice craft in Sanctuary. Okay. So essentially we now have vendors it looks like. And we'll do the leveling up and everything else in the very next episode guys and gals. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share it. Like I said there will be plenty more to come. If you want more information about the game, the developer or where to get the game it will be down below in the description of the video. Again guys, fantastic game. Super glad that I was turned on to it and I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.